to sport now and Collingwood has pulled off yet another epic fight back to beat Carlton by a point to end the Blues season and earn a finals double chance. The Western Bulldogs beat Hawthorne in Tasmania to ultimately seal a finals berth before the Blues squandered a 25-point lead in front of a massive crowd at the MCG. Both sides knew the equation. For the Blues, a win would end a nine-year finals drought. For Collingwood, victory guaranteed a top four finish. The Magpies striking first. Side bottom's got it working magnificently. With Sam Walsh watching on, Carlton was doing plenty of hard work to get into the game. Matthew Owies finally getting them on the board as tempers flared. And a little bit of friction here. Collingwood was down in every key statistic but made the most of each opportunity to lead by 19 at the long break. Bending, coming back the other way. Goodness gracious me! Whatever Michael Voss said had an instant impact. Adam Chera converting in the opening minute. Suddenly it was all Carlton as they kicked six unanswered goals. Collingwood needed to respond and Jack Ginnivan delivered. But it was a brief respite as the Blues kicked eight goals to one to lead by 24 points at the final change. Motlock ground level. Got his second in the quarter. Carlton wasn't giving Collingwood an inch. Run down from behind by but as they have done so many times this season, the Magpies dug deep. As the clock ticked down, Bo McCreary produced something magical. McCreary. McCreary. before Jamie Elliott converted to break Carlton's heart. He kicks the goal! Collingwood in front! Collingwood in front! Can you believe it? Again. Earlier, the Western Bulldogs did exactly what was needed to keep its finals hopes alive, beating Hawthorne to move into the top eight. But the Bulldogs didn't have everything go their way in Tasmania, as the Hawks stuck with them. Perfect start for the Hawks for the turn! Ultimately, Luke Beveridge's team got away, recording a 24-point win to put the pressure on Carlton. Tom Wildey, ABC News. Sydney has secured a finals double chance with a hard-fought 14-point win over St Kilda at Docklands. The Swans needed to win and make up percentage on Melbourne to claim a top two spot and a home qualifying final. But the Saints refused to make things easy for the Swans, closing to within seven points in the final term. Sydney hung on to win, but not by enough to secure a home final and will be sweating on the fitness of Tom Papley, who was subbed out with concussion. So this is how the ladder looks after the home and away season. Geelong has finished minor premier, two wins ahead of Melbourne. And Collingwood is in the four after that famous win, tipping Carlton out of the eight in favour of the Western Bulldogs. North Melbourne has won the wooden spoon. In the first, weeks, first week of the finals, Geelong will play Collingwood at the MCG and Melbourne will host Sydney in the qualifying finals, while the elimination finals will be Fremantle against the Western Bulldogs and Brisbane takes on Richmond.